It seems like we are not going to get any more updates when it comes to the Master Chief Collection as this image has been going around the internet quite a lot showcasing a finite date to the Master Chief Collection. This is an award that was given to a developer that somehow got out to the internet and it showcased finished the fight. Halo the Master Chief Collection 11 2014 to 7 2023 which in July of 2023 was the last major update for the Master Chief Collection which brought in a a lot of, of amazing features to have this game feeling much more content complete if not even more than ever expected though it seems like development might be completely coming to a halt if you guys like these informational videos make sure to tap like it helps support the channel and if you're part of that 80 some odd percent of people who watch the channel who are not subscribed you want to stay up to date with everything going on with halo well you know what to do then along with the plaque came with a note saying thank you your dedication, teamwork, and commitment to excellence have not gone unnoticed. Together, we have achieved a significant milestone, and it's all thanks to your hard work and determination. A keen-eyed Twitter user pointed this out, saying that the assault rifle is the abomination assault rifle, the helmet being on the verge of a Mark IV slash Mark VI style helmet, the helmet being inspired from Halo 4, though they do say it could just be like AI art or just some internal art that they just threw on top of it to kind of make it look a little more unique. Well, the reason why they point that out is really just because, well, maybe there's some stuff to come, possibly. And I looked all over online because I could have sworn I heard 343 mention that they consider the Master Chief Collection feature complete, which then would make sense to not have any major updates coming our way. But there are definitely aspects that 343 brought up themselves that has been kind of left and not really heard it from from a long time. And 343 built up some expectations when it comes to content coming to the Master Chief Collection after the July update. Most notably, a lot of the dig site stuff that were really just fan favorite projects that people have been working on in their free time to be able to kind of get this stuff playable out to people. And the big ticket item I think a lot of people are questioning is like, is it actually going to happen? The playable version of the Halo 2 E3 demo. But from all accounts, from what I've heard, it's just one person who's been doing this in their free time to be able to make this happen. People are passionate about their Halo experiences and they will do this kind of work for free just because they want people to enjoy it. If they can do it, they'll give it to the community. But 2023, as I'm sure many of you know by this point, has been a major year of change when it comes to 343 industries, rethinking business models as well as content that they can create for the community. And this dig site blog, which first talks about the Halo 2 playable demo, was brought up over a year ago. And the MCC blog was, well, back in July, which is five months ago. And 343 did say it, saying that the Master Chief Collection has been a true labor of love and has received a great many updates over the years. And we're super excited to get this one into your hands. Sounds kind of final, if you ask me. But yeah, it's a small team that's currently working on the Master Chief Collection right now. Now, and they're kind of just getting things out when they can. But I wouldn't really expect any kind of major updates or anything kind of really happening with the Master Chief Collection moving forward. From last we heard, people are still working on things, but it's like in, like I said earlier in this video, kind of more on their free time. But I wouldn't expect any new features or new gameplay mechanics being brought in anytime soon or mod content coming to the consoles. 343 has stated that it's pretty much not going to happen. They don't want to completely rule it out in case it does happen, so they don't have to backtrack on their statements. But it's in reality, guys, it's, it's not going to happen. I would love to see it happen. I've talked about this previously on the channel, why it won't happen. But basically, it's just Microsoft legal reasons why. And it's kind of one of those benefits of playing on PC compared to console. It's always been that way when it comes to mod content. Yeah, some games have broken the rules a little bit when it comes to that. But when it comes to mod content, you, that's why you get on PC for that kind of stuff. But let me know if you guys are still playing their Master Chief Collection. Of course, if any cool mod content comes with that game, I'll share with you guys here on the channel. If you hear any more information about any updates when it comes to this news and information about the final update of the Master Chief Collection, well, you know, I'll share with you guys here on the channel. Check out this video right here if you missed any content from me recently. And thank you all for watching. Peace out.